This is a coming of age story of a young uh, queer black person uh, raised in the inner city um, and really trying to explore what does it mean to uh, become an organizer and uh, to take the experiences of trauma and oppression and um, transform them into resilient practices like joining a movement. There's a number of reasons why I decided to write it. I think um, watching the US government call our organization a terrorist organization and then watching um, there be a really heated uh, presidential uh, election, um, I was clear that um, I wanted to specify what Black Lives Matter was and is, and I wanted to give um, you little black girls a moment so that we can tell our stories. There's nothing like being told your whole life that your story isn't important and then finally sharing it and people embracing it. Uh, we are part of a long legacy of freedom fighters that have also been called terrorists. The uh, woman who did my forward, Angela Davis, was called a terrorist and was hunted by the FBI. And so um, when those words are used against um, human beings, it's to undermine, especially for black people, it's to undermine our movements, undermine the work that we've been trying to do here for several centuries. You know, I see this book as also a movement tool. I want people to use it, to teach it, to um, not just have it be this thing that um, feels entertaining, but rather how can we move people to action um, through this literature. Um, folks should join your local organizations. Um, people should not be alone in this time. Um, being um, our, our individual selves while amazing um, is not going to lead the type of change that we need. I think people should be showing up, joining things, uh, whatever is issue you think is important to you, if it's criminalization, if it's reproductive justice, if it's ending state violence, um, there are, an, there's an organization ready and waiting for you to volunteer and be a part of it. I, I just want to um, acknowledge Charlena Lyles and the family who um, has never received justice for um, Charlena's murder. And um, Black Lives Matter is in solidarity with that family while they grieve and we grieve with that family. And we also um, uh, uh, deeply desire justice for her.